All right, so now we're going to be going on to some of the dinosaurs you're going to be seeing, or you, you would be seeing if you went back in time 65 million years ago towards the very end of the Cretaceous period where the dinosaurs, the non-avian dinosaurs died out. Um, now, when you saw this um, di diorama at, at the Market Public Museum, that is called the Hell Creek Formation. And it's it's a formation that's right at that end. Dinosaurs lived a lot longer than that, but they died out around 66, 65 million years ago is when the, the not bird ones died out. And it, this is harder to tell, but this is really what it would look like back then. Kind of look like Florida today. Lots of trees, um, lots of uh, man like different river systems uh a little bit warmer uh humid uh and again you like have all different plants and i want you to think about everything that would be living on here because very few are dinosaurs compared to other life and we're going to be talking about other life after this uh, because really i mean just think about even uh, plant eaters like deer today, you find very few deer, but you'll find a lot more toads and uh, snakes and ants and uh, frogs and fish and insect, all that stuff more than a deer, uh, even though deer are more common than like meat eaters, the carnivores. Um, so yeah, this is a pretty much what it looked like. Today, it looks like a desert. A really deserted condition, but but back then it looked like Florida, and this is what it looks like today. Um, and again, we look at this, and what I had to do is interpret the the rocks and say what what was going on there, what was the environment like, and when we see a lot of the sandstone, it's a lot of this is all sand. Probably think it's more of a channel of a river. You can see the cross bedding, it would be kind of just depositing all that sand. We also have some siltstone, which is uh, like flood pilling. It's where it would go over the banks and put clay and a real fine material over that. And this is uh, where we find a lot of times where the dinosaur bone, this is a picture of a dinosaur bone I, bones I took, it's just laying on top, weathering out. And that's all dinosaur bones on top of that flood plain. And the dinosaur bones have those little pores in them. You can see all the, it looks like little sponges inside that, um, in, in the inside. These, you'll find a bunch of them in your packet, uh, but they are not. And right away that confused me. It almost looked like dragon's eggs or something. Um, those are just, those are just iron stone and it's like fossilized mud. And, um, and they really goof you up. So here's the very first bone I ever found. Um, and it was back in 1987. And all I could, didn't find anything for the longest time. And it rained the night before. So we thought it would be a good time to, to look because sometimes that just the rain will wash away another layer so we can see. And I found this right here in a little puddle and I put my knife there to show you, for you, took pictures of it. And that one turned out to be the horn of uh, Triceratops. So we dug on that one all summer. And here's another Triceratops in 2018. That's uh, me and my son. We found way up there at the rancher and she allowed, allowed us to dig on that one for a little bit before, and it was not ours. It was just something we dug on back in the 2018, but super far way up here. They couldn't get a lot of the machinery up there to get it. So they actually had to make like a zip line to actually get it down because it was so heavy. Um, and in 2020, uh, the COVID year, I was out. And again, what kind of uh, dinosaurs did you find You at the very end of the Cretaceous? So I found a, a lot of Triceratops, you know, some Tyrannosaurus and Montosaurus. Uh, and so we have all these different ones like uh, Pachycephalosaurus and tons of different dinosaurs out there to look at. So you never know what you're going to find. It's kind of fun. 
Um, triceratops are very common. Um, you'll see sometimes you can find like 70% of the, of the bones there all together if you're lucky. Sometimes you only find just like a piece of a backbone. The, this would be like the beak right here. And these are, this is part of the frill, the back part of it. You can see all those, these little things are blood vessels that where the blood vessels would go through to, um, to feed it. it. Usually it had a coating on the outside, kind of, kind of like your, you know, your nose has, or your ears have a little skin over it, but hard underneath there. This was, uh, where the blood vessels would go. Uh, these are its teeth. And if they're worn out, they look like this. If they're nowhere to them, they look really pointy. And and they were grinders. They would just, you know, chop their their herbivores so they were meat eaters. Um, and again, these are just some some of the bones that we'd find out there. When you walk around, you see something like this. Uh, that's a backbone. Here's some ribs. And uh, there's a big guy here that is mounted at the museum. He's a torosaur, which has the holes in his frill. So you'd see these huge holes. Now they're not sure a hundred percent if it's um, if that's a, a new species, a torosaur, or if it's just a triceratops that's older that and they lose part of that bone. Pachycephalosaurus, the ram heads. We found a couple of those. You find their teeth a lot that look like this. And if you think this is the reason why they thought we had dragons a long time ago, look at that guy. If that doesn't look like a dragon, I don't know what it looks like. But this one, um, his name is Stiggy Moloch, uh, but now they're thinking that he was just a different version of a Pachycephasaur, like a, a younger one, that the younger one would have it look like this. And then as you get older, you got that bigger dome head to, uh, to ram it in. And Edmontosauruses are one of my favorite. They're the duckbill dinosaurs. I have this is one of my bones here that I got collected, and uh, we have a littler one called Little Rod that I, I made a cast of. But they're grinders too, and they got really big. They're meat. They're plant eaters, and they got really huge. And these are what the teeth look like. So they just had rolls upon rolls, and if one broke off, they call them sheds. Um, then another one would just take a place, kind of like a shark does. Uh, and then you got some of the ribs. This is pictures of us digging over two, a couple summers ago, finding huge ribs. We would find ankylosaurs, and they had the club tail on them. Uh, and we do find their teeth a lot, too. And a couple of times we find the whole body. They're more rare. And then now comes the fun ones, the theropods, which are the meat eaters. They, okay, thero means uh, wild beast and pod means foot. So they're wild beasts with a huge foot that has some claws on it. The most popular, T-Rex. And again, we got a cast of one you can see. They're big. And look at those big bones. This is where we were a couple summers ago when we found the one T-Rex. And we just laid down on some of those Bones are, are huge. And this is kind of what they're thinking now. Every time you get more information, they're thinking that they would have some feathers on them, um, patches of feathers, and just more like to get attention, kind of like a peacock, you know, would use it for attracting a mate. And even the kids are super cute. Look at this. That's what they think the little babies would, would have peach fuzz all over and they would start losing that those feathers as they age their teeth were pretty cool I i've found many of those and then i have i do have one uh, that i put back together and again they had rows of them so again if, if this one broke off they were about the size of bananas this is inside the gum and if that one broke off another one would go right back in to it um, and this is a Displetosaurus, which is a little older than the T-Rex. We found, this is where we found them in Montana. And they have fabulous looking teeth. Those little serrations on the ends, those little, little things that are like, like steak knives. Dakota Raptor. And he had some claws that would come down, just dig right in to hold it. Into. Sometimes they just thought they'd jump on Slash and jump off and... Um, so they'd hunt. 
the next uh, one's going to be, uh, what about us? All those other things like turtles, insects, plants, and all that. We're going to find a lot of those kind of fossils. Um, so we got to know about them too. So I'm going to stop right here for this video. So hopefully you